What's up beautiful people, it's Sinaruma, welcome to the channel, today we have this very interesting video and it's, the, it's tied towards the truth about the first Thanksgiving. Also, I'm excited to check this one out as Thanksgiving is around the corner and depending on when you're going to be watching this, happy Thanksgiving and happy Turkey Day and I hope you have an amazing time and an amazing celebration with your family, with your friends and your loved ones, enjoy your Thanksgiving celebration. But yeah, I'm excited to check this one out, let's check it out. Food, football and oppression mm. that's what thanksgiving has come to mean to many americans back in 2007 seattle public school officials made national news by describing the holiday as a time of mourning and a bitter reminder of 500 years of betrayal this new narrative describes the pilgrims as arrogant oppressors who fled persecution only to become persecutors themselves mm depriving Native Americans of their land and their lives. But this is wrong on every count. First of all, the pilgrims didn't cross the ocean to flee persecution or even England. They'd been living for over a decade in Holland, Europe's most tolerant nation and a haven for religious dissenters. Free from interference by the Church of England, they feared seduction, not persecution, worrying that their children would be corrupted by the materialistic Dutch culture. Wow. Actually, this is my first time getting into the learning about the first Thanksgiving and how Thanksgiving came about because I've known about, I've been hearing about Thanksgiving celebration and the likes and all. I haven't actually celebrated Thanksgiving, um, the American Thanksgiving way or American Thanksgiving and the likes. But yeah, it's interesting to learn about this and to know how this came about. Wow. But yeah, let's go on. Culture. That's why they risked their dangerous 1620 voyage to a wilderness continent. Not because they were running from oppression, hmm. but because they were running toward holiness, fulfilling a fateful mission to build an ideal Christian commonwealth. Wow, interesting. We're running towards Christian values and Christian commonwealth interesting but yeah let's continue Commonwealth. they initially planned to plant this model society on the wild wolf infested island known to natives as manhattan hmm. but winds and tides blew them 250 miles off course dumping the mayflower on the frozen coast of massachusetts oh. somehow the pilgrims saw their dire situation as a demonstration of providential power especially after a giant wave picked up the flimsy boat of a scouting party on a stormy December night. The turbulent sea then deposited them safely, miraculously, on a little island within sight of the ideal location for their settlement. Oh. It was a deserted Indian village with cleared land, stored supplies of corn, and a reliable source of fresh water. No, these supposedly cruel conquerors never actually invaded that village. Instead, they expressed a fervent desire to pay the natives for the dried corn they found. Hmm. If only they could find someone to pay. But the former inhabitants had perished during three years of plague, probably smallpox, that immediately preceded the pilgrims' arrival. Oh. One of the few survivors of that devastation turned up several months later to welcome the English newcomers. Against all odds, he proved to be the single human being on the continent best suited to help the struggling settlers, since he spoke English and had already embraced Christianity. His name was Squanto, and he had grown up in this... So it's interesting to see that um, they came to... They were running in towards um, Christian values, and they met with... Um, somebody who is also got the Christian values and welcoming them into the new land and better land. Interesting. Let's go on. He had grown up in this very village before a ruthless sea captain kidnapped him as a boy and sold him into slavery in Spain. After four years, oh. he was freed by kindly monks, then made his way to England and finally sailed across the Atlantic only to find Fuck. his friends and family all wiped out by disease. Oh. Over the next few months, Squanto helped the English newcomers plant crops 
and negotiate a friendly trade agreement with the region's most important chief, Massasoit. No wonder Pilgrim leader William Bradford called Squanto a special instrument sent of God. Indeed, he is, because imagine going to a new place, go, running towards something, and you're meeting that, and you met what you're looking for. It's more like he's already sent from God or he's already designed by God. That is something that lots of people um, need to know, that sometimes God has already designed something, something for you. And more than likely, if you follow God's direction and you follow God's will, you get to what God has already designed for you, not by your way, not by your will, but by God's will. Also, this is this is amazing. Let's go on. Sent of God for their good. The celebration, later known as the First Thanksgiving, yeah. actually involved a three-day harvest festival in October, apparently inspired by the biblical holiday of Sukkot, or oh. the Feast of Tabernacles. Ninety hungry Indian warriors joined the 53 surviving pilgrims for this occasion. Hmm. Nearly half of the colonists had died during the brutal winter. The Englishmen provided some vegetables, fish, and perhaps wild turkeys, oh. while the natives brought five recently hunted deer as house gifts. The preferred sport on this occasion wasn't football, but shooting with settlers and Indians sharing a fierce fascination with guns. Hmm. Though these hardy pilgrims loom large in the American imagination, they never built their Plymouth settlement into a major colony. And nearby Boston, the later colony of Massachusetts Bay, grew so much faster that it swallowed up the great-grandchildren of the pilgrims in 1691. What? But the sense of purpose of the original pilgrims left a permanent imprint on hmm. the national character. They maintained unshakable confidence that God protected them, not to grant special privileges, but to impose special responsibilities. Responsibilities. They saw themselves as instruments, hmm. not authors, of a mysterious master plan. Today, with our continued blessings so obvious and so overwhelming, the only reason to treat this beloved national holiday as a time of mourning is that some foolish Americans actually think that's a good idea. The pilgrims knew better. Hmm. They understood that people of every culture and every era can gain more from gratitude than from guilt. I'm Michael Medved for Prager University. Wow, uh, this is amazing and interesting to see. I mean, I've checked another video that talked about the first Thanksgiving and everything, and this is similar like what i saw and i decided to check more videos to learn more about the first thanksgiving and the likes and all because thanksgiving is a beautiful holiday and is a beautiful celebration and i have i haven't actually celebrated thanksgiving myself the, in the american way the thanksgiving i know we celebrate in nigeria is more like in the church like christian way where we go to church we bring our first food we bring our first harvest and everything and we dance and give thanks to god and everything and the likes and all but the american way where they make it the national holiday and celebrate the turkey day i haven't done that and because thanksgiving is somewhere around the corner I decided to learn more about this particular holiday and the celebration to know more about it. It's interesting to learn interesting facts about this because it's beautiful and I love it. And the fact that some people are reading off negative meaning or a different meaning to this is what I still will not understand. Like people always want to misquote and people want to always twist a particular knowledge and ideology to make it fit a certain narrative it doesn't make sense you rather just enjoy the holidays day celebration and have a beautiful time with your family it's beautiful but the same let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below what are you doing for um thanksgiving how are you celebrating thanksgiving this year what are your th thanksgiving rituals or what exactly is your family thanksgiving ritual and are you looking forward to thanksgiving this year i would really love your honest contribution to this i mean everybody everybody have got different opinion regarding this and everybody have got different way or different family rituals they have or they make 
for thanksgiving and i really love to know and to learn from you as well depending on when you're going to be watching this happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving celebration and happy turkey day and have yourself a beautiful thanksgiving celebration or oh, you can share other useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that good stuff and until next time see you in the next video